Welcome back. We're on chapter 15 today. Chapter 15 is called Dee Dee. Ah. Chapter 15, Dee Dee. This story contains problem and a solution. Dee Dee was a mousy looking kid. Unlike most children at Wayside School, she liked recess better than spelling. As soon as the recess bell rang, she would jump up from her seat and run out the door. There were big signs in Wayside School on every floor. No jumping down the stairs. Dee Dee never seemed to notice the signs. She jumped down the stairs. Some children took the stairs two at a time. Dee Dee took them ten at a time. That was on the way down. It was funny. She never seemed to be in quite the same hurry on the way back up. There was another sign at Wayside School. No cutting across the grass. Dee Dee must not ever have seen that one either. She cut across the grass and ran up to Lewis, the yard teacher. I want a green ball, Dee Dee said. The green balls were the best. I'm all out of the green balls, said Lewis. Okay, then I want a red ball, said Dee Dee. The red balls were just as good as the green balls. They didn't bounce as high, but actually... Sometimes you don't want a ball to bounce too high. I'm all out of the red balls too, said Lewis. Do you have anything left? asked Dee Dee. Dee Dee meant anything besides the yellow ball. There was one yellow ball at Wayside School and Lewis was always trying to get rid of it. It didn't bounce and it never went the way it was kicked. Anything at all? asked Dee Dee. Today is your lucky day, said Lewis. I have one ball left just for you. The one and only yellow ball. No thanks, said Dee Dee. Aw, oh, come on, take it, said Lewis. Why don't you ever have any green or red balls, asked Dee Dee. I do, said Lewis, but the other children asked first. By the time you get out here, they're all gone. But that's because I have to come all the way from the 30th story. How do you expect me to compete with the kids from the first or second, she asked. That's why I saved you the yellow ball said Lewis. Everybody wanted it, but I saved it, just for you. I bet, said Dee Dee. She took the yellow ball and bounced it on the ground. It stopped dead with a thud. She stepped back, ran up, and kicked it. It went backwards over her head. She didn't bother chasing it. Instead, she played hopscotch with Jenny and Leslie. She thought it was disgusting. The next day, Dee Dee asked Mrs. Jules if she could go to recess early. Why? asked Mrs. Jules. So I can get a green ball before Lewis gives them all away, said Dee Dee. Well, I'm glad you have a good reason, said Mrs. Jules. Yes, you may go, but first spell Mississippi for me. Spelling was not Dee Dee's best subject. By the time she finally got it right, she was five minutes late for recess. She jumped down the stairs, cut across the grass, and ran up to Lewis. There were no green balls left. There were no red balls left either. However, there was still the yellow ball. Dee Dee played jump rope with Joy and Mauricia. It was no better than hopscotch. So Dee Dee's problem was to figure out a way to get a green ball, or at least a red ball. You already know that this story also contains a solution. Dee Dee figured it out. See if you can too. Remember everything you know about Dee Dee, Wayside School, and Mrs. Jules. Hint. The next day, Dee Dee brought a cream cheese and jelly sandwich, some nuts, and shredded cheese in her lunchbox. Here's what happened. Just before recess, Dee Dee smeared the cream cheese and jelly all over her face. Then she stuffed her mouth with nuts and hung the shredded cheese from her nose. When she closed her eyes, she looked just like a dead rat. Todd was in on the plan. Mrs. Jules, he called. There's a dead rat in the classroom. Mrs. Jules was very put out. I want that dead rat outside immediately. When Mrs. Jules said immediately, she meant it. Dee Dee instantly found herself outside on the playground. I want a green ball, she said. Lewis pretended that he hadn't heard her. May I please have a green ball? Asked Dee Dee. Lewis gave her a green ball. I don't know how you did it, Dee Dee, but you're first today he said. 
When Mrs. Jules found out that Dee Dee and Todd had tricked her, she sent Todd home early on the kindergarten bus. Dee Dee threw the green ball on the ground. It bounced 50 feet straight up in the air, and then she caught it. You don't like me, do you? She asked Louis. Sure I do, said Louis. No, you don't, said Dee Dee. Yes, I like you, said Louis. No, you don't, Dee Dee insisted. Yes, I like you. I really do, said Louis. Are you sure? asked Dee Dee. Yes, said Louis. Don't you believe me? I guess so, said Dee Dee. Do you like me? asked Louis. You bet, said Dee Dee. You're my best friend. Terrific, said Louis. I always wanted to be best friends with a dead rat. Like always, thank you for listening. See you next time. Bye.